makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? So, basically, the story behind this video is that I wasn't going to do this tag. I mean, I liked it a little bit, but I just sat down, I did my makeup, I filmed a video, and I'm like, I love my makeup so much that I don't want to wash it off. I really want to film another video, but I don't have another video planned, so I was like, ooh, I could do a tag. And then I was like, I'll do the spill the tea tag, even though all I have is Dr. Pepper. So I believe that the creator of this tag is Liv Loves Her Makeup. I will go ahead and link her video down below. I will mention really quickly just in case you guys are not familiar with her because I am a really PG family. If you're watching, or I'm a PG family, I'm a PG family friendly channel um, for the most part. So if you are or if you're not a kids or anything, then you might not want to watch her video until they're out of earshot. So the very first question is, which video were you afraid to post on YouTube and why? And I think that there's definitely so many different videos that I've been nervous to film. I think anything where I have a strong opinion I get nervous about just because I have this like insecurity and I don't really say it out loud, but I have this fear that when I talk, people won't like me. So I would rather stay silent and people feel neutral feelings about me than speak out and people not like me. And I've always kind of had moments where I like would do something and then afterwards I'm like, oh, if I didn't say anything at all, then pe maybe people would still like me. Like I just have this weird thing in my mind. So anytime I do something I'm opinionated, even if it's something I truly believe in and stand by, which I mean, obviously, why would I say something that I don't believe in? It still just makes me a little bit nervous. Um, other videos that may have made me nervous would be posting things that are personal. My chatty wines days, I have kind of made myself step out of my comfort zone and talk about things that make me uncomfortable even if they don't feel like it like talking about my divorce for one thing was really really hard um even now like I just there are days when I feel the need to speak up about what I've been through to be a voice to other survivors but for the most part I find it really hard to talk about um and I actually talked about my divorce in literally like probably like 10 videos and every single time I would just edit them out and I was like you know what I can't put it out there yet I just can't talk about it um so I think that was one of the hardest videos and then obviously I did one like talking about my insecurity and talking about mom problems and just stuff like that so and my next one I'm actually not as nervous about because the feed the positive feedback is really really helpful but it I don't know it just always makes me anxious and I'm just a worrier to begin with <sighs> let me think is there anything else that made me nervous to post Hmm, I can't think of anything in particular, but I have videos all the time where I'm like, oh, I don't know how I'm gonna, how people are gonna take this. I think also anytime where I have sarcastic humor, I don't want it taken wrong. Or whenever I add bloopers or like, I don't know, I have a, I'm trying to show the real me and any time that I feel like I'm really showing my personality, I'm like, do I need to cut that out? Like, is that a little bit too much? like all my little, little quirks and weird things like I normally take them out of the video I haven't been doing it as much lately because I've kind of come to the realization like it's not about the makeup of course it's about the makeup but people are watching my channel because they care about me too and it's not just me talking about makeup it's me not in like a self-absorbed way but just in like it's an okay to be who I am rambles but those are videos that have made me nervous okay um, the question number two is, as your channel grows, do you find it more difficult to stick to your original opinions? And I'm not sure what opinions this is specifically meaning. If it's opinions on makeup, like, like my makeup style, makeup I used to like that I don't like anymore, definitely my opinions have completely changed. I have different rules, different things I do, different methods of application, like, Everything has kind of evolved over the years since I started my channel, um, which is a good thing. Definitely a good thing. The brows, so much better. Not perfect, but much better. Um, so as far as my opinions on like makeup trends and everything, I definitely feel like it's changed. But my opinions on YouTube in general, I don't think have. Or about like what content I want to put out. Like I always just want to be honest. Um... I don't have a problem with PR or sponsorships. I never have, even other creators. I was always like, go you, you're awesome, get that money. So I guess for the most part, YouTube in general, no, but makeup rules, yes, if that makes sense. 
Okay, so question number three is someone leaves a, you a crappy comment that isn't relevant to the video, do you delete it or respond? And I would say that 99% of the times I don't delete it. I like to leave it there just because it's real, it's truth, it's what people have to deal with on the internet. And I think that most comments don't really get to me. Um, like I've definitely got comments that were like obviously rude, like someone was like, uh, you need to fix your nose first, it's fat or something like that. And I was just like, I thought it was funny because like I've never been insecure about my nose. Maybe my nostrils, I feel like I have large nostrils. But besides that, I was just like, okay girl, like all right. So I kind of just let those things slide off my back and sometimes I'll respond. And I like to respond and say like maybe you need to learn kindness. Um, I like to say if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. My mom taught me that, did yours. My, oh okay I don't I don't leave I don't put the last part because it could be really insensitive insensitive if someone lost their mom or something I just think that in my head like did anyone teach you that you shouldn't say things unless they're nice because my mom ingrained that in my memory um so most of the time I I respond I try to respond in a respectful way I don't really try to get on the level of other people obviously if they're on the internet hating there's something going on in their life there's some personal battle that they're going through so for the most part I believe in killing people with kindness but I'm human so sometimes I've probably been a little bit rude back I think that the only time I ever deleted comments and blocked was several people kind of going off on me about this person left a whole like huge comment about all the things I need to do on YouTube how to better myself how to change my background how I need to do my hair every video all these different things and I remember just thinking like, well, then why don't you create a YouTube channel? Because this is mine. I'm going to do it my way. I don't have to have my hair done perfectly in every video. And it was a whole, I don't know, maybe like three different people who were like hounding on me and saying that I was making excuses, that I like, I don't know, just awful things. And like, they like brought in my child and like started talking about me as a bad mom. And at that point it crossed the boundary. So that's when I deleted and blocked. So I feel like makeup things, I can really, I can handle it. Even if sometimes I'm like a little bit annoyed, I'm like, okay, like whatever. Um, but I feel like if people start to like attack me personally, I'm like, I don't need you in my life. I don't need that hatred. So hopefully that answered the question. Yeah. Number or question number four is tell us how you feel about your channel currently. Are you happy? Are you not? It depends on the day. Um, right now I'm really unhappy with my lighting. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. Once I see this on the on my laptop, I'll know if it looks any better. I feel like I look super pale, but I look more like, look a little bit more like I do in real life. I feel like I just did a bunch of videos, like I did like three of them, and I looked super, super warm toned. I'm just trying to figure out lighting out. It's so, so difficult. That part of my channel I'm not happy with. However, my channel as a whole... And I think like the the people that I have subscribed to me, I think are so amazing and sweet. And I feel like I almost always have like 99% of the time positive comments. And I appreciate that so much. I, can, I, I consider constructive criticism a positive comment as well. Um, so for the most part, I feel like I get a lot of love um, and appreciation. So I really do like that part of my channel. I've seen other channels grow and then their comment section turns to negativity and hatred. And I really never ever want that to happen. I want to keep my channel a positive, happy place because I'm one of those people I walk, I go on a channel and if I start going through the comments, because I like to do that when I'm watching the video, and if they're all negative and hateful and just bitter, I normally end up closing the video because I just don't need those vibes in my life. So I don't want my channel to ever turn in that direction. As far as my content, I think I'm happy. I'm definitely trying really hard to push myself to come up with new ideas. It's so hard, like honestly. I can me and my sister, my little eight-year-old sister, I was like, let's think, let's brainstorm things. She's like, can you do your makeup with your feet? I'm like, mm, that's a good idea. I Google it and it's already been done. I'm like, people doing their makeup with their feet. And then today I'm like, everyone loves slime, doing makeup with slime. And then I looked it up, it's already been done like a year ago. I'm like, I'm trying to be unique and different and it's so hard. Although I do have some video concepts I've written down recently that I like, that I definitely want to do and do a little bit more research before I do them. Um, so I don't know. I guess I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm content. But at the same time, I'm definitely pushing myself forward. I want to keep growing. I want to put out better content. I want to do better reviews, better swatches. I just want to keep getting better. I don't want to just be like, 
I'm happy where I'm at, but I want more growth. I want to be better. <laughs> of course, I don't want to be over, like overproduced and overproduction, if that makes sense, because I see people and they do so much lighting and so much video editing, and all this and effects and everything, and it almost feels like too much. I always want to feel like, I don't know, like the girl next door, like someone you could just sit down and talk about makeup with and just have fun and a calm time. Like I don't want to over edit my videos. I don't know. So hopefully you guys are happy with my channel and if there's ever anything that you like really don't like seeing or that you really love seeing, I always appreciate feedback. Um, so yeah, I feel like in this particular moment in time, I'm feeling really good because I have... I feel like it's just like any creative outlet like writers have writer's block and sometimes my makeup I have makeup block or YouTube block where like I can't even think of anything good to talk about or anything new like I just feel so uninspired to even film and then there were the opposites where I like all I want to do is film 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 edit 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 I can't do anything but film and edit and I'm still not satisfied and that's me right now I literally I had so many ideas this weekend that I actually stayed home instead of going to visit my grandparents because I'm like, I want to get stuff done. I have so many videos I want to film. So I basically have just been filming every single nap time my son's sleeping every single time at night. Actually, last night I stayed up till 1 a.m. editing a video. And then I like, when I fell asleep, I was like praying, God, please let my baby sleep till 8 a.m. Please let him sleep in. He normally sleeps in till about 7.15 which is okay, but it's every single day. I have not had a day of sleeping in until, or in since before he was born, single mom life. But um, he woke up at 6 a.m., 6 a.m., so that was this morning. That was rough. I don't know how I'm still filming because it is currently 11.07 at night and there's the beautiful boy who stops me from getting enough sleep. But I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little mini tag. I enjoyed filming it. Um, actually more than I thought I was going to. I really just wanted to film something because I'm like kind of obsessed with this eye look that I've got going on. First time doing a two-tone look. So if you guys have any questions or any feedback or anything at all, please feel free to leave it down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.